Hey folks, what's up? Uh oh. Oh, my sound's working at the moment. <laughs> but I realize I don't have the sound might mess up in the middle of this game. If that happens. I'm gonna fight through it. Uh so we're playing this normal Joko piano that I, I like so much. Kinda brainless, you just play the same moves all the time. Favorite kind of opening. Push it back to stop knight a5. Um, h3. Once they've castled, h3 is safe because they can't really have a pawn offensive. The king castled on the king side. It's a little lower. So I'm going to reroute my knight to g3. Maybe go bishop e3 after my knight's on f1. Pretty standard stuff. My opponent's moving kind of slow, which will probably help me. Um, I've never seen that move so much, but I'm, I'm gonna just do this. Suppose he wants to play d5. Let's see, if he takes, he can take with a knight, he can go d5. Eh, it's mildly irritating. Maybe I'll take with a rook, although it looks awkward, but I'm just gonna do it. Uh, why did I do it? Well, not, the knight has a nice moment, g3 anyway. So now I can take, oh, he can take with a knight. Uh, probably go... I don't know. Knight, pawn takes, knight takes. Looks ugly. Does it? I mean, the rookie won. Knight g3, d4. I can live with this, I guess. d4, just move the rook back. I don't know. Or, well. Now what? Queen f1? I gotta get my other rook into the game. d4 is, like, really annoying. Maybe queen c2, although the queen doesn't usually belong there in these types of positions. I don't want to put it in e2 because my rook has nowhere to go. e2 is where it usually belongs. But there's like knight f4 and stuff. Alright, so now I want to develop my rook. The question is where? d1 or one d1 has ideas of d4. Can I go d4 now? I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Is it good? Who knows? Okay. okay, now I'm thinking about like d4, but it's probably bad. Knight f5 is interesting, because he takes, I take, and then I have rook e5, so he can't really take so easily. Move the queen. I'm losing too much, I'm using too much time, though. Come up with some plan that's not stupid. Not easy, though. Alright, d4 is the, the one plan that's not stupid. Seems very dumb. Like, pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes, knight takes. It's not the end of the world, but it's, it's hard to believe it's, it's so good. Maybe I'll just do it. I don't know, otherwise I'm not doing anything here. Just suffering. <laughs> now I have some choices. If, if pawn takes pawn, I have to move e5. And followed up by pawn takes d4. It's probably okay. He takes on e4, you know, I've opened up the, the f7 square. I even have knight g5 as a possibility there. I think this was probably the most principled move. I like principles. Pawn takes e4, knight takes, knight takes... I don't know, rook takes, bishop f5. Um, queen takes, I was thinking of. Then you can take on... I can't really... Can you take on d4 or not? I can take on e8 then, it's, it's complicated. Let me think, knight g5... I feel like I should take, take, queen takes... f5 is not playable. And then if pawn takes pawn, ah, oh, whatever. Worst case, I can take on four. It's like equal. Uh, rook takes bishop f five. Any tricks? Might be, but I'm gonna do this. There's a possible move like pawn takes the e five after bishop f five. Seems weird though. Alright, so now if pawn takes pawn, queen e8, rook e8, rook e8, bishop e8, rook e8, knight f8, knight g5. Does it win? Very close to winning. You can go queen c5, I go bishop f7, and then I have knight e6. Yeah, I'm winning there. So we, okay, I think I'm winning this. Let me calculate again. Wait. Oh, you know what's funny? I thought knight g5 attacked his queen. It doesn't. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. Um, it's still maybe very strong, but less strong than I, I previously thought. Weird. 
Uh, do it. Uh, huh, hold on. Oh god, I can't figure out if it's if it's a bad idea or not. Take, 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 take. Push it there. An eight e five. Whatever. I'm too. You know the guy's too low rated. I just I shouldn't take risks. Eight doesn't really do much. Um, pawn takes interesting. Usually it would be bad, but in this case. I don't know, I'm just gonna do it. I wanna be knight g5 ideas, knight e5 ideas, d5 ideas. I have to start moving fast though. No more time to think and play well. I have to just use main. Probably knight g5 if he goes eight. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Because if he takes my rook, my pawns get fixed. He can then go like bishop e8, but. I go knight e4 to c5, or knight e4 to d6. His knight on g6 is weak. Not really ideally placed. It's dominated by my pawns in that position. Knight h8 looks ridiculous. I'll, I'll probably just do the same thing. Maybe... maybe you know, let's play, let's play it... Uh, keep pieces on the board for now. I could have went rook takes first, and it's also very strong for me. But this seems more flexible. Moves the bishop away, like bishop f5, knight f6. Um, his knight is this is all about dominating his knight, pretty much. Ah, uh, reasonable. He's gonna do take and go deep on. Maybe I should have done something different. I don't know. E4 is interesting if b5. I'm gonna do this, they'll go for the c5 square. Put his bishop on c8 and kind of hold on tight. And we're gonna play like a little game. Maneuver my king up. I'm gonna start. Well, what's the point? Just go nice c5. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to move my a pawn. Let's just get my king in and move fast. His knight comes back into the game is a thing. I need to need to try to take squares away from it. I should want h4 maybe. Nah, that's weird. Knight g6 to f8 to d7 looks logical. Do this for now. I'm gonna try to avoid trades. In general. Uh, except the bishop for the knight. That trade I'm okay with. I like to make that trade. Try and do it right now. He should go knight to d6. That'll go b3. Take away the c4 square. Probably can't take on h7. And maybe I can, but too risky. Um, I'm up on time now, so that's good. I again, I'm happy to trade the, the bishop for the knight because I think I have a good knight against a bad bishop here. Uh, I'm gonna go e4. I think I'm gonna go h4 and g3. Maybe let's just do this first. Bring my king in. H4, g3. Kind of seems unpleasant. I think he should go g5. Maybe taking that and go knight b7 to a5. I don't know. Still very unpleasant. Uh, I'm gonna sit tight. Oh god, I meant to go. Oh, whatever. I take my h pawn now. In, in this case, I can at least go knight, knight b. I'll just do it, even though it's a little risky. Okay, I got a little sloppy there. Forgive me. I have b4 next move. Very sloppy, Greg. Not well, surprising, but I guess he wants to just push his pawns. Mm. I don't know, I may have been losing. <laughs> we'll see. He's low on time. I just need active knight, don't care about anything else here. How do I... Try... 
sad game. Obviously, if you get that pawn, it's going to be over. Instead, it'll be a draw, but it's not that easy to get that pawn. Especially if I can get my... I'm going to do this, even though it's, it's winning now. The idea of trying to flag him. Um, I flagged him. You know, I played well this game, and then the time trouble. I spent some time early in the game when I shouldn't have spent. I won anyway, of course, but I was actually looking forward to winning by playing well. It's always nice when you can do that. You know, and I had a nice little advantage. I played this bishop e4 move, it's kind of unnecessary. But, you know, I was a little low on time. But okay, I won. I mean, I figured I would win, because I was, I was catching up on the clock, and I had like a, just a nice, comfortable edge for quite a bit there. So, whatever, I'll take the victory. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Oh, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll demonstrate one or two things from this game. I was at 120, my clock was messed up a second ago. Um, the opening is a little weird. I, I think d4 was the right choice, because otherwise I have no active plan, and he's just the one with space in the center. Let's see what Houdini says. Oh, it says I'm just better. Way to go, Greg. You know, you just can't sit there and be passive, I guess. Gotta think. It's nice to think logically. This was the one interesting moment. I didn't see taking on e5, but whatever. Like, this is an interesting idea. What's really funny is I thought, I thought it was probably okay, but for some sick reason, I thought this move attacked his queen. He had to go here, and then I would win. But it doesn't. This is what I saw, g6, and if, if knight f7, I didn't see a useful discovery after some move, like queen c5 or whatever. It's the, oh, this one, I have a really cool trick. Okay, I didn't see that, but I mean... I figured some queen move, but this is the one I was looking at. The queen f6, queen f4. I couldn't find a discovery that worked. So I decided to just play it simple. And you know, I've just been recently looking at dominating a knight on g6. Pawn takes is interesting. You would expect knight takes to not give yourself an isolated pawn. But in this case, I thought the threat of d5 uh, and the idea of knight e5 and knight g5 made self giving myself an isolated pawn the right choice. This is a tough decision to make. When I was younger, I would never do it because I was scared of the weakness. But there's no re weakness here. I can always go d5. Rook takes. I can take with that pawn. I thought this was fine. And knight g5 looked good. If he took... Oh, I could take this. I actually... I wasn't even sure if I could do that, but... I guess I can. And... And now, you know, I can go knight e4. I can take first. I played knight e4. My knight's better than his, so I'm better. Uh, it's just a question of how much better. I obviously misplayed it. This was some dumb moves. Uh, e3, re restricted knight. This move's probably stupid. I, I don't know, I thought it was a good knight against a bad bishop, but... You know, when you're up in time like this, you have a space advantage, just sit tight. Go go e4, king, e, king e3. You know, I'm probably just gonna win handily. Instead, I let him make a transformation, and then I kind of play aimlessly. I, want, I should go like h4 and g3 at some point, I thought. Just to put my pawns in the opposite color of his bishop. I didn't do that though, and... Okay, I blundered a pawn, whatever. <laughs> Low on time here, I won anyway. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.